So last night I recorded a video because I happened to have a bunch of six ounce steaks. Well, those six ounce steaks reminded me of this guy. He decided to weigh his steak at the table because he claimed that they gave him a steak that was a kid's portion. What I decided to do is find out who's right. Did they give him a steak that was underweight? Or is he just some douchebag that walked in with his weed scale and decided to check out this steak? I did an experiment where I used three six ounce steaks. I cooked them to medium rare, medium, and medium well. 99% of the time when I get orders of steak on the line, and most other cooks will agree with me on this, if you di agree or disagree with me, leave it down in the comments about the most commonly ordered steak. The most ordered steak I will get is usually a medium steak. I also had a smaller steak and a couple larger steaks because apparently when they cut the steaks it just doesn't even matter what the ounces are as long as it just equals like a certain weight or something. I'm not sure what they were thinking at Zam's but anyways I did that so let's check out the experiment and then we will come back here and discuss our findings. Okay so I've got all these steaks here now we're gonna weigh all these. This one looks like it's only about five ounces 4.5. This one what's this one? Six ounces exactly. This is what we're going to use for the experiment. Uh, how, are you? how about you? What are you at? 8.3. I don't think these are supposed to be this far off. 9.1. How about you? Are you six also? 7.7. .7. So I'm going to cut this down to six ounces. We are going to cook these three. We're going to make these all six ounces. And I'm going to cut, I'm going to cook them uh, medium rare medium and medium well and they'll all be six ounces and we we will weigh them after they're done cooking and after we cook them to their appropriate temperatures <laughs> And the 9.6 are here, the 4.5 is here, the 3 6 ounces are here. So we're just going to season them up the way I would season them at a restaurant, and then I'm going to throw them all on the grill and cook them to their various temperatures. You can be a little more liberal when you season steaks because some of the seasoning is going to come off while it is cooking. And uh, we're just going to do a basic cook on the flat top. I'm not doing anything crazy because this is just for an experiment. So we have our 3 6 ounce or 4.5, 9.6, and 9.1. So the reason why I want to do three steaks um, is because I want to see, like, at the different doneness, how much moisture loss there actually is. I'm predicting somewhere around a 20% moisture loss on average. But if we have enough evidence here with moisture loss, we can actually predict about how much their steak was before it got cooked and find out whether or not they served this guy a steak that was under its raw weight. Okay, we have all of our steaks done. We have medium rare, medium, medium well. We have a medium 4.5 ounce. And then we have a medium rare 9 and a medium rare 9.5, 9.6. Now, we're going to let them rest for a few minutes, make sure that they reach their exact temp, and then we're going to weigh them. You guys don't have to wait, though. Okay, medium rare first. Medium rare, 6 ounces. What do we got? 4.8. Medium, 6 ounce. Also 4.8. Medium well, 6 ounce. 4.8. 4.5 medium. This is the 4.5 ounce medium steak. 3.5. 9.1 me, uh, medium rare. It's now 7.4. The 9.6 medium 
is 7.5. So essentially we have 20% moisture loss, which is what I predicted. So the six ounce steaks are weighing 4.8 ounces. What does that mean for our person whose steak weighs 3.68? The cool thing is the 4.8 ounce steak, when I cooked my mid rare medium and medium well, it always weighed the same. Now that might be a little bit different for a rare or a well done. And the reason for that is because the moisture loss within 135 to 155 isn't enough of a significant difference to warrant that much weight difference. The, the, the pinkness doesn't equal moisture loss. Now, the other thing that could factor in to this would be a lot of fat because the more fat there is, the more fat can melt away during the cooking process. So this guy's suspicions were actually correct. What are some reasons for this? Well, just like the package that I got at Sam's Club, it weighed a whole bunch of different things. So it could be possible that the place where he got his steak claims their steaks are six ounces and they weigh a bunch of different things. One of two things happening with the restaurant. Either they are ripping off their customers by serving steaks that are under portioned or what is more likely is the person portioning the steaks isn't doing things correctly he's told to cut six ounces and he doesn't give a fuck and he just cuts them to whatever i want to know what you guys think do you think the restaurant is directly ripping these people off do you think that it was being done on purpose do you think it was an honest mistake or do you think that he ordered it like super well done and they just cooked it so much that like it just turned it into shoe leather and the six ounce steak somehow lost almost half of its moisture somehow, which I don't think is even possible for a well done. But one other thing that you may notice is that I had a 4.5 ounce steak. The after cook weight of that 4.5 ounce steak was actually very similar to that 3.68 that was featured in the picture. Further backing up that my belief is that he was given a steak that weighs around 4.5 ounces. Anyways, you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.